Hello everyone, welcome to Scalia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan with the General Surgery course. Today we will be talking about the prostatic cancer, which is a kind of very much important and most common cause of death in the uh, men age greater than 65 years. In our previous lecture, we have discussed about the benign prostatic hyperplasia and also the different kind of the uh, treatment strategies we have available with us for them. But today, this is a continuation of the previous lecture, and today we'll be talking about the prostate cancer. We'll be talking about the pathology of the prostate cancer, the causative uh, factors which are responsible for the development of the prostate cancer. We'll be talking about the invasion uh, of the prostate cancer. We'll be discussing about the histology. We know that the prostate can uh, prostate gland is actually the uh, the the uh, kind of the structure which is composed of the SNI and the ducts as well. So if we talk about the histological uh, part of the development of the prostate cancer, we know that there are ducts, we know that there are SNI as well. So kind of the cancer is on the basis of the histology is an adenocarcinoma, and it depends upon the uh, you know grading. Uh, we grade the tumor into uh, well differentiated moderately differentiated and the poorly differentiated cancer on uh, the basis of the uh, cytology or the shape and the nuclear size of the uh, of the cancer itself. Uh, then we would be discussing about the carcinoma spread. This is something very much important to know because there are three important pathways to which the carcinoma spreads. One is the local, the other is uh, through the bloodstream, and the other is through the lymphatics. So the most important thing is this, the, the, the carcinoma spreading through the bloodstream actually involve the vertebral column like the lower lumbar vertebra and the pelvic bones and the ribs and the femur. So we will be discussing about the carcinoma spread in detail. Then the most important uh, part uh, in, the in the case of the cancer discussion is the staging because uh, without staging the cancer, you cannot actually uh, decide the kind of the treatment you are going to give your patient. So we will be discussing about the tumor staging, the the nodal metas the nodal status, and the uh, metastatic status. And we'll be discussing about the tumor staging, like the T0, T1. T, uh, 2A, T2B, and T3 and T4 lesions in detail. And then how are you going to make the diagnosis of the patient like it's a benign prostatic hyperplasia or it's a prostatic cancer? So in case of the benign prostatic hyperplasia, and the important thing is uh, like you go for the PSA levels. So that if the PSA levels are within the normal range, you'll think about the bean and prostatic hyperplasia. Uh, again, you, you start it from the history. You do the clinical examination, like the rectal examination. You palpate the surface of the lobe. And then you also um, order some investigations, like the size of the prostate in ultrasonography. And you also go for the PSA and then the prostatic biopsy. Uh, after you have done with all these things and you have made a diagnosis of the prostatic cancer, what are the treatment modalities we have available with us? Like, um, it, like in case of the early cancers, uh, you have to go for the uh, for the total radical prostatectomy. And um, in case of the advanced tumors, you have to put the patient on the uh, secondarily hormonal agents and you have to uh, go for the LH receptor antagonist and you have to put the patient on the chemo and the radiotherapy. So in the detailed lecture, lecture, we will be discussing about the treatment strategies. There is another entity which is very much important is the prostatic calculi. Uh, and they're divided into exogenous and the endogenous calculi. We'll be discussing about this as well and obviously the treatment modalities. And at the end, we'll be talking about some kind of the laminated bodies which can be present in the prostate and they call, they're called as the carpomalacia and they're responsible for the development of the endogenous cancer, endogenous uh, uh, prostatic calculi. So uh, this was about the 
and today's uh, uh, today's uh, lecture uh, and um, if we have also available medical lectures like the thousands of the medical lectures are, av are available on the uh, site um, which is uh, scardia.com so for the detail a lecture keep watching scardia.com thank you very much